Let's build an awesome booking system to sell our Zoom classes using Calendly. Let's do it. Perfect. So the first thing you're going to do is create an account with Calendly. Then you need to create an account with Zoom if you don't have one already. And the same with Stripe and PayPal to collect payments. You use Zoom to host your live classes. All right, so let's set up Calendly. Once you create your account, the first thing you're going to do is set up your profile. So let's go to account, account settings. And here's where you're going to upload a picture of your beautiful face. Enter your name, a welcome message that people are going to see when they book a class, your language, the date format, your country, and your time zone. Next thing, you want to upload a logo of your company or your brand. In my case, I'm going to upload my amazing Grumo logo, which you can crop and set so it fits perfectly. And I can now save the changes. Next thing you're going to do is create a custom Calendly link. So we go to my link and you're going to enter here your name or your company name. And hopefully it's not taken already. In my case, it wasn't. So anybody that goes to calendly.com forward slash Grumo can book a call with me. But don't do it right now because I'm not taking any calls. This is just for fun. Okay. <laughs> the next thing you're going to do is integrate with Google Calendar or Outlook or Office 365 or iCloud because the great thing about Calendly is that it integrates with all these calendar systems so it can check whether you already have something booked in your existing calendar and make sure that there are no conflicts. In my case, I already connected with my Google Calendar and you can see here the connection has been made. I can disconnect if I want to. I can connect up to six calendars. The next thing you can do under configuration is check for conflicts. So if I go here to my calendar, you can see that I have several other calendars and the one in red in my case is uh, for work. So if I create any event here, nobody will be able to book a call if I've already set this as a busy time. And this is a great feature to avoid any conflicts. The next thing you're going to do is select which calendar event type will be created on your calendar when somebody books an appointment or a class with you. In my case, anytime somebody books an appointment or a class with me, it will create an event under the work calendar, but you could create any other type of calendar event and it would be added to your calendar. The next three steps are the integrations that you need to do from Calendly for Zoom to be able to integrate Calendly with Zoom. And then to collect payments, you can decide whether you want to use Stripe or PayPal. And the way you do that is you go to integrations. So let's do Zoom first and you say connect to Zoom and then you enter your information and you say pre-approve and then you say authorize and the connection has been made for Zoom. Now we're going to go back to integrations and do the same for Stripe. Connect with Stripe, sign with Stripe, continue, connect my Stripe account, and that's done. Go back to integrations. If you wanna do this with PayPal, you can do the same thing as well. PayPal, connect with PayPal, allow PayPal to connect your account with Calendly, agree and connect. The integration with PayPal has been done. You can go back to Calendly. And there you go. Now you can create events directly from Calendly to Zoom and collect payments with either Stripe or PayPal. Great. So now we can start creating events so our students or our clients can start booking their classes or consulting times with us. So we go back to home. We click on new event type and there are two different types of events, one on one or groups. On groups, you can decide how many people can simultaneously book the same time in your calendar which is great for group classes, of course. And if you want to do one-on-one, -on -one, then just click create on one-on-one. -on -one, and then you're going to enter the details for this type of event. Now you enter the location, which in this case is going to be Zoom. Any instructions? And finally, you can create a custom link added to your profile URL for this event. By default, it takes the same value as your event name, but you could change it to whatever you want to. And finally, you can change the event color to whichever color you like. Then click next. Now is when we enter the event details. So how long is going to be the event? Let's say it's 45 minutes. The event time zone and your availability. Here you have a lot of flexibility on which days of the week you want to allow people to book classes with you. By default, it's nine to five but we can always grab any day and change the availability. Let's say I only want to take classes from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
And then I can apply this to just a specific day, to all Mondays in this case, or to several days of the week. So let's say I only want to take classes on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I go here to apply to multiple, and I already have Mondays, but I'm going to say Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'm going to apply that. And you can see right now, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have classes that I can take from 1 to 5 p.m., but by default, I still have the classes from Tuesday and Thursday, which I can now delete easily by clicking the trust button. And then I can say apply to multiple, which is going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays, apply. And now these days of the week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, nobody will be able to book classes with me. Then click next, perfect. So we created a new event. We selected which type, we entered the details. We set the available times on our calendar. And now we can customize the event booking question, which is great to make sure people are prepared and that you have enough information to start taking the call. This is, for example, if you're doing a review for a website, you would ask them for the URL. So here you just click on invitee questions and you can, by default, will grab their name and their email address. You can add a new question and you can say which type of answer type. Let's say it's just one line. This case is going to be, please enter a link to your website. And you can say whether it's required or not and then you can apply it. And now you can rearrange this and you can delete any questions that you don't want to. Delete questions and save and close once you're done entering questions, perfect. The next thing you can do is customize notifications and the cancellation policy. So let's click on that. For the calendar invitations, you have to be connected to either Google Office 365 or Exchange in order to be able to add this type of calendar invitations. If not, you can switch to email confirmations and you can personalize the email that will get confirming their class. You can also customize the email they will get if they cancel the class. You can personalize it there. And a feature I really like is email reminders because it's very easy to forget that you have an appointment. So I always turn this on and you can personalize it. And now you can decide when do they get the email reminder and how many email reminders. So you can customize here the email reminder, the subject and the body of the email that we'll get, and then the timing. So I would always recommend to have at least one reminder 20 hours before and another one at least you could say maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes before and they will get the same message uh, twice at two different times to make sure they don't miss the class with you. You can send an email follow up automatically, which would be great if you want to upsell them or ask for feedback on how the class was. And so you don't forget to do it. And you can also send text reminders. And finally, you can set up the cancellation policy. Check the cancellation policy check mark here so they can see it. And then you can enter here. If you cancel your appointment, I will not eat cookies for 10 years. And that will be on your conscience. So you better think twice about canceling the classes with me. Okay. Hey. Huh? All right, once you're done writing your cancellation policy, if you have one, click save and close to make sure that is saved and closed. And this is the part you want to make sure it's working properly because this is how you're going to make your beans, your dollars, which is how are you going to charge for these classes in advance? And because now we are already integrated with Stripe or PayPal, we can choose either or. So let's say I want to accept payments with Stripe and then how much I'm going to charge for this class, which is going to be, I don't know, $159 to speak with Mr. Grumo. 99, okay, because people do that a lot, 99. And then the payment terms, you could say, if you don't show up here, if you don't show up on time, then I'm going to keep half of it, you know, because come on, you should show up to your appointments and then save and close. And there you go. You created your first event that people can book and they can pay you with. And it's already integrated with your calendar. So it shows up in your calendar. You have reminders. You have conflict checking to make sure that you don't double book appointments. So the next thing you want to do is preview it. Click on view live page. And this is exactly what people will see when they want to book a class with you. What you can do is now distribute that link, your custom event link, and then people will be able to book classes directly using that link. So the last thing we're going to do is to test the entire workflow to make sure it works. So what I did already is to book an appointment with myself, which is a little bit weird, but this is what I need to do in order to test this system. And I should get a notification saying that somebody booked an appointment, which I can see here uh, from Calendly. An appointment has been booked by a guy called Grumo for tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. And there is a Zoom link directly that the student can click on and start talking to me. 
this is a beautiful thing is fully integrated with zoom and the student which is myself talking to myself got an email confirmation saying that the meeting has been confirmed and also they have a zoom link they can click on and start talking to me tomorrow at 2 30 p.m and on my calendar because it's integrated with google calendar I can see an event for tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. has been created. I can click on it. And the event has also all the information about who is attending the call and also the link with the password, everything integrated with Zoom. So if I click on the link, this should launch Zoom, open Zoom app, and there you go. I could just join the call, start, and here I am. Talking to myself, let's have a class. Let's teach, Miguel, teach me something. Well, what do you mean to teach you? It's not, it, it works, it just works. And hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. If you wanna see more tutorials on course creation, monetizing your knowledge, understanding systems to grow businesses online, well, just make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Thank you.